I'm so excited to be doing these drummings. Hey, Nathan Cisco here. What is up, guys? I have a new unboxing for you. We have the Taiko no Tasushin. Did I say that right? Here's how it looks. It's in Japanese, I can't read it. So a long time ago, this was like announced for American release, and I don't know man, I just completely forgot. <laughs> I've been really excited for it, um, but I don't know, I just could never, like I never saw an announcement that it was up for pre-order or anything, until um, I saw Dashi. Dashi, my boy, you know, you, you know Dashi. I saw Dashi play it, and I'm like, wait, it's out now? So I checked up on Amazon, on Amazon for $90, you get the smallest one. Um, yeah, there's different sizes. I don't. I think this is the smallest one. Might be the medium one because there was one that was going for fifty dollars, but this is the one going for ninety. I wanted to go for a little higher quality. Uh, this one should be, I think, fifty dollar value, but it's an import. It's a Japanese import, and that is why it has that ninety dollar price because it's imported. Nonetheless, I thought it'd be really fun to do an unboxing video, and so you guys can see uh, what to expect if you want to buy your own. So let's open this, shall we? So right away, I see that the box is really easy to open. I'm going to be calling this game Taiko because I don't want to keep saying the name if, I, if I've been saying it wrong. Alright. So we have all this stuff. Ooh. I have to have a new setup for, uh, for unboxings. I'm finding that because I have this new PC setup, it's actually really hard to do unboxings now. So I'm struggling finding a way to do it. But here we have the pieces. Pretty dope. Uh, so obviously we have the two drumsticks. Come on, man. You know I want to try that out right away. Come on. We are six bomb. One, two, three, four. So yeah, here's here's the. Uh, just they're just plastic. They look like like Olive Garden breadsticks. Uh, plastic ones. I heard you can get some really nice ones uh, for extra. So these are the ones that come with it. But you can, I believe it was like a couple extra than ten dollars, maybe like thirteen dollars for these longer ones, and I guess they have better grip. I don't know. These feel good though. Um, I thought I was gonna be holding like, like, big old breadsticks, like French bread, with this thing. But no, they feel comfortable in my hands. Um, I have really big hands, so they feel good. These things you see right here, I believe those are the stands. So let's take those out. Oh yeah. Yeah, these nice little pieces. Oh, so um, this is actually one of my biggest. Uh, questions with this product. Um, at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but at the bottom, there are some little black, um, like rubber pieces. So there's black rubber at the bottom, and look it, if I place this on here, it doesn't move. That's amazing, it plants in there. And the reason why I was wondering about that is because if you're drumming against the, like, you know, the, the, the drum, isn't it just gonna slide? That's the issue I had with Donkey Konga. So the bongos, they wouldn't plant, at least for me. Maybe mine were old, but they wouldn't plant. So if you, every time you smacked it, um, they, it, they would just slide to the, to the side. All right, so here on the, the other side, we have a, the drum and also the cords. So let's open this up. Oh, okay, so the cords are already attached to the drum, so. All right, so this is, this plugs into your switch dock via USB. Here you go. And you have, I don't know if it can focus. You have all the little switch buttons down here. You have the home button, the, the, the all the different kinds of buttons. And yeah, you set it up via USB connected to your dock. And that's as simple as that. Here, let's get rid of this uh, garbage over here. So, on the sides, there's little holes, and you go ahead and you click them. So you like this. Mm, come on. Ah, there we go. Nice, nice fit. Let's go on the other side, and you just go in there. You click. Eh. Ah, there we go. Once you hear that click, and there you have the drum. Check this out! It's a lot bigger than I, than I imagined. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this. Um, <laughs> surprisingly, like, how could it get smaller than that? No, yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, actually. So, I feel like it's a pretty good size. Are you ready? Let's, let's, so, let's, let's, how does it sound, though? How does it sound when we're smacking against it? 
So here, here's the drum. It's not as loud as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I thought I was gonna be waking up the neighbors hitting this thing, but I don't know. It, maybe it's just my maybe it's, it's just my room, but I feel like the sound gets eaten up. It gets it gets drawn out. So pretty nice. Pretty cool. I feel like the bongos for DK are louder. Donkey Konga. Stop. Why do I have a goat in here? So you know when it's like I wanna be the very best. That no one ever was. Also, another thing, if you want to put your drumsticks away, there are two little holes here, and you can just slide them in. And there you go. It just it just fits right in there. And then you're done. Um, I like this. I, I thought there was gonna be like a lot of cords and stuff, but no, it, this is it. Literally, this was all that was in the box. Are the is the drum and the the drumsticks. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, I was whacking at it. It didn't move. It, it, it felt perfect. The rubber pieces at the bottom really help. I mean, look at this. I'm pushing against it. it. It doesn't move. I mean, obviously it might slide a little bit. Yeah, see it slide a little bit. Um, but, I mean, it's not like you're pushing up against it. You're pushing down. And I, you know, you keep smacking on this. Look at it. It's not moving. So, that's really cool. Uh, you know, that, so don't worry about like, oh man, I need a good surface to place it. No, I think, you know, wherever you are, on your desk, um, in, on, the, on the living room table, living room floor, I think it will work. It, it'll be nice. So, yeah. And it's um, not too heavy, but just, just, just right. The cord is very long, so uh, look at that. It's, it's a pretty long cable. It can reach pretty far, like I said. It can go from like, let's say you have it at the TV and you're sitting like next to like the living room table. You can probably reach. Again, this is going for about $90. I'll provide the link below. And um, I'll, I'll provide two links. There's one that's $50. However, I, I heard that one's... I see some complaints that that one might not be the best. And this is made by... Um, what is the name by? And this one's made by Party, Which is... Um, you've probably seen them when you go buy a controller at GameStop. They make some pretty good products. So if you buy from them, you'll know this one's a pretty good quality. Uh, but yeah, let's, I'm excited. Uh, let me know down below. Is this something that interests you? Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys get yourself one of these. It's a little pricey. Oh, by the way, the game itself. Game, I should have said this at the beginning. Game not included. So just be mindful of that. This is literally just a drum. There is no game in here. The game can be found on the Nintendo eShop. I don't know where else you can find it. Um, I really searched for a physical edition of the game and I can't find it. I've, I've checked Best Buy, GameStop, all those shops, and every time I do find it, it's a code for the digital download. So I believe it's just on the eShop. Um, so, you know, there you have it. It's, a, it's about $55 on the eShop and then this is $90. So you're looking at a very pricey game here. The good news is that when you buy the game, there's a lot of DLC. The eShop is like the iTunes store, like it's insane. Like I was going through the, the, the Nintendo eShop and I just saw that there was so much DLC for the songs. So anytime you want to add to your list of music, you can just go into the eShop and you'll find a bunch, a lot. I saw a Pokemon pack, I'm totally buying that. I love when Nintendo makes these very like interactive hands-on um, games like Ring Fit Adventure um, and Labo. I know Labo wasn't the best, but I still enjoyed Labo um, for what it was. And uh, yeah, and this. This is really cool. I think this might be my favorite out of all of them. Maybe. I gotta play more Ring Fit Adventure and, and test that out. See you guys. I'm gonna go drumming.